Well, on this week's Northwoods Adventure, the Nevis Robotics team, known as Techno Tigers, is headed to St. Louis, Missouri for the first robotics competition championships. The international event will host 900 teams for three robotics competitions, representing 39 countries with about 20,000 students competing. Coming from a town of less than 500, 18 students will represent their town, their team, and their robot known as Bob Ross in the first Stronghold competition. Uh, Chelsea Brown has the, st the story. If Blue wins, they win the championship. And they do! There was no shyness of excitement when it was announced that for the first time, the Nevis Techno Tigers would move on to the championship after winning among 53 teams in the first robotics regional competition held in Milwaukee. I remember being thrown around among probably like 25, 30 other people all in one huge group. We've always had in our heads that, okay, we're going to win the blue banner for once, guys, but it always seemed like such a distant thing. This year's competition, first stronghold, is the medieval tower defense game. It involves robots overcoming defense obstacles, scoring boulders through goals, and capturing the opponent's tower within two minutes and 30 seconds. Last year's competition was a game called Recycle Rush, which was uh, you're basically stacking totes. It kind of was a little bit more boring. So this year is a lot more aggressive and much more interesting. But it takes a team to run this operation. From the programmer who programs how to drive to the robot mechanisms. We call it the spaghetti collector, where um, it's actually, it looks like a bunch of noodles taped onto the front of our robot. And uh, it actually does a very good job of picking up the boulder and uh, putting it into the logo. To the pit crew, who has 30 seconds to fix things in between matches. All the uh, electronics, the talons, the manipulator arm, the motors. It can be, but this year it was really nice because our robot didn't have anything break aside for the arm that got bent, which was an easy fix. And to the scouts, who watch every robot during the competition. The scouts watch all of the matches in the regionals, which is about 120 and throughout those three days and so if we make it to the line selections we have the data to know who to pick. When you're watching them I can feel my blood pressure like go way up. It is so there's just so much going on all at once. Even after winning the regional, the students and mentors have been working to improve Bob Ross the robot, adding a new element that will scale the opponent's tower, something they've looked for in teams this year for their alliance. They can shoot high goals if they can scale the tower because if they can challenge the tower. But the team is excited for this new experience and believe that they have the tools to compete on the national level. I think we have a real shot because of our, our experienced drive team, the combination with the power rating and how well we did at the regional. It's going to be really crazy. We're going to try and do our best and try and, you know, get as far as possible. And I mean, we're going to shoot for the world champions, I guess. On this week's Northwoods Adventure, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. That's a good goal. Championships begin tomorrow. Best of luck, of course, to Nevis. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.